Hello friends today's episode is really really useful for all plant lovers because today we look into the leaf signatures of the common pests and insects to identify them and take the necessary steps to eradicate those culprits from your garden coming up If you're interested in gardening please take a moment to click the subscribe button and also the bell icon next to it to get notified whenever i add another useful episode well how do you feel when one day on your early morning garden inspection you find part of your garden disappeared while you slept or realize your flower buds are torn apart and are very badly damaged I am sure after seeing this damage your first instinct is likely to spray some powerful chemical pesticide all over your plants to kill those culprits without even investigating further this is not a right decision please spend a little time to find out what is eating your plants and then take necessary action particularly prescribed for that pest or insect yes today we look into identifying those common pests by scanning their leaf signatures that is the leaf damage pattern the leaf after feeding on your plants so let's begin the first pattern is chewed leaves or slime trails if you see irregular shaped holes in the leaf but not along the edges and if you see slime trails or lines then the most likely culprits are slugs and snails so what's the remedy there are a lot of remedies for slugs and snails but Beer trap is the most effective one considered by many. Pour some beer in a saucer and leave it overnight. This attracts and kills these creatures. Well now moving on to the next similar signature that is chewed leaves along the edges. Leaf cutting bees are the culprits. So what is the solution? Generally unless it's too extensive damage you need not take any step to kill or drive away these bees because They are beneficial insects and are required for pollination in your garden. Then the next pattern is chewed leaves with central holes in between the veins like skeletonized leaves. The culprits here are caterpillars if the holes are larger and also other insects like beetles, earwigs and saw flies produce this pattern. So what is the remedy? For caterpillars, hand pick and eliminate them including the ex from the leaves. After doing this apply a neem oil plus soap solution weekly twice that is 10 ml neem oil plus 10 drops of 10 ml of liquid soap or shampoo and spray it thoroughly including the underside of the leaves well the next pattern is discolored leaves plus sucking damage this is commonly caused by thrips and spider mites common thrips are the cuban laurel thrips As you can see here the leaf is discolored and then folded on to itself to form a pouch or cover these creatures and its eggs if left untreated these thrips will multiply drastically and can cause a considerable damage to your plant so what is the solution you can use the same neem oil plus soap spray weekly twice or you can add another oil like clove oil or eucalyptus oil if they're too extensive If they're still persisting then go for chemical sprays like those containing imidacloprid as the last resort. If you still want organic solution like me consider another option called diatomaceous earth that is DE. You can google that or check it at your local store. Then the next pattern is zigzag leaf mining pattern. Obviously they are called leaf miners. Leaf miners are very tiny larvae of variety of insects like flies, moths and beetles. Leaf miners do not actually cause major injury to the infested plant but give an unattractive look to the plant. This mining pattern of zigzag lines on the leaves are produced as these tiny larvae bury and eat along the infested leaves. If you want to control these, neem oil is the best solution for this. You can watch my detailed video on leaf miners and its remedies from an end screen link after this video. You can also find links to all my related videos on pest control from the description below. Well now moving on to the next culprit that is sucking damage and deformed leaves and leaf curls. Common sucking pests are aphids, white flies and mealybugs. 
the mealy bugs are very common and are found sucking the new growth and tips of the plants. In fact, mealy bugs as well as aphids have a symbiotic relationship with ants which protect these pests from predators and also carry them to the plants. The ants in turn get the honeydew sugars excreted out of their anus as their gift. So what is the solution for this? I've been using this uh, magic organic uh, mix containing multiple ingredients along with neem oil to control these uh, creatures. But these need a weekly spray with the solution depending on the severity. There are a lot of solutions to these pests including alcohol based sprays, neem oil and many others. Please check a video on this topic from an end screen link or, or from the description link. Then the next pattern is leaf galls or leaf bumps. This is a strange and rare pattern which presents like a tumor like boils on the leaf surface. This is considered to be due to irritation or stimulation of plant cells due to feeding or egg laying by insects like the aphids, wasps and mites. So there we have it folks, please click a thumbs up if you like the video and also please comment below with your feedback and also share this video with other gardening friends. Consider subscribing if you are new to the channel, happy gardening.